Hi everyone, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. Well, today everyone, we have a special treat for you in honor of my wife's birthday here, Denise. May 22nd. It's from the Cancer Survivor's Guide Dr. Neil Bernard by Dr. Neil Bernard. It's one of the recipes we found in there, and it is it's a hit. It's gluten-free and it's just it's awesome. Real easy to make. You'll give it a try. So, banana oat pancakes. Uh -huh. You know, I've been wanting Georgie to make this video or to do the cooking at least part of it for a while now. We haven't gotten to it, but now we did. It's my birthday and I said yesterday, I want to have those pancakes and I want to make that video. This is a great recipe. There's no oil in it, no eggs in it. It's basically oat flour with some other things and then walnuts, which of course is one of the best nuts you can eat. All those omega-3s and nuts are healthy for mm -hmm. you. I mean, if you have extremely advanced heart disease, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn will tell you not to eat the nuts, but if you're not there, nuts are actually great and protective against cancer and heart disease as long as you, you know, eat a minimal amount every day. So, Anyways, we're excited about this recipe because you're going to love it, I hope. Mm -hmm. But before we show you how to do it, I just want to share a few thoughts with you on this awesome day where I am now 65, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, really, you know, 65, I, I mean, if you guys are young watching this, I know we look like old people to you and, <laughs> and you're thinking, you know, okay, 65 is a long way off. You know, of course, I thought that one day a long time ago, but now I'm here. And this is what I want to tell you guys. My life at 65 is so vastly different than my parents' life. Please know, genes are not your destiny, the ones you inherit from your family. My father had his first heart attack in his 40s. Then he continued to have heart disease throughout the rest of his life. He died in his early 80s and along the way he developed Parkinson's disease. His life was just one episode of suffering after another. My mother had horrible osteoarthritis through most of her middle-aged and upper years. She had knee replacements, back surgery, she was always in pain. Her hands were, you know, swollen and bent. And then the worst happened. She developed dementia, and she's literally been in a bed for like 17 years. My mother, no life at all. She's been living a life where I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But my life is not like their life. I am vibrant, energetic, healthy, and on no medications. Yes, I don't know how long that's going to last, but I'm hoping that I will have decades more of this kind of health where I will be able to still do the things that are important to me. My destiny is not my parents' destiny. My genes that I inherited did not give me their diseases. Why? Because I made such different choices than my parents. At 22, I became a vegetarian. I started reading labels. I've been reading labels on every food product I buy for more than 40 years. I became a vegan six years ago. I've been exercising since my 20s, regularly going to a gym. I just know that these decisions I have made have given me this health that I still have now at age 65, and I don't have any of those issues of my parents. So if there's anything that I can give to you on my birthday, this is my gift. Please take seriously, so, so seriously this knowledge we are sharing with you. I have spent the last three years of my life immersed in understanding the literature of whole food, plant-based nutrition, so I can understand it and share it with everybody else. Because anyone who's known me for a while in my life knows that I am an educator at heart. And I am also one who wants to stop suffering, suffering of all kinds, of all people. And health is such a critical one. 
Don't allow your life to be like my parents, where they went to doctors over and over and over. It didn't change their life health profile. They were on drugs, drugs, drugs. That did not make them well. It only managed symptoms. My parents suffered, and I suffered watching them suffer. I can't stand watching people I know now. I know so many people in my age bracket that are just dying from cancer, heart disease. They don't need to be dying from this, but they were not taught. They were under this cult that the standard American diet is the way to be, and that's because there's so much collusion between the meat industry, the dairy industry, the processed food industry, the drug industry, and our government. They, these industries, they pay scientists to put their name on studies that will confuse all of you. So you keep eating the way you're eating and they generate profits. They want your dollars, they don't want your health. Do you think these hospitals care about your health? If they did, they would serve healthy food in their cafeterias. When you're a patient and you're getting cancer chemotherapy or you have heart disease surgery and you come out, they wouldn't be serving you roast beef and gravy. No, they should be serving you Brussels sprouts and broccoli mm -hmm. and arugula and kale and beans and nuts and seeds. These are in fruit. These are the health of fruit vegetables and food for you to eat. I'm emotional because this makes such a difference. It's just hard to see suffering and see people you know and that you know are beautiful human beings have to suffer and die these early deaths and suffer all the pain that goes with it and then all their family members have to experience all that. I'm sorry I'm emotional but it really is it's just important to me that we stop the suffering. So this is my birthday gift to you. Enjoy these pancakes mm -hmm. and learn. Keep reading our Happy Vegan Couple posts on our Facebook site because I put them there so you can learn. I don't want you to just listen to me. I want you to listen from the doctors and the research, the scientific evidence-based data that shares this knowledge with you. So that is my birthday gift to you. Please take it and live a healthy life and share it with your loved ones and please stop the suffering. So with that, let's get to making those great pancakes so you can see the wonderful food that you can make in almost no time at all. Okay, Georgie? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's get started on Denise's oat banana pancakes. First thing I'm gonna do is show you all the ingredients or tell you all the ingredients. I've already measured them all out. What I have is four cups of whole oats, spelt flour, baking powder, salt, chopped walnuts, uh, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, vanilla, and almond milk. Those are my ingredients plus one and a half bananas. Usually it's two bananas, but they're pretty big. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind up the oats in the Vitamix just to show you how to make our oat flour here. Go ahead and pour these in. It takes about 45 seconds or so and we'll grind it right up. like all ground up. It's a little thick, a lot thicker than bleached white flour that everybody uses. Okay, I'm gonna put two cups of this in my bowl. Denise's birthday this morning. Both That's right. 
Just what I wanted. Okay. Three pancakes. Two cups baking soda next. I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients first. Salt. And I consider the walnuts uh, dry. But I'm only gonna use half of these because I'm gonna sprinkle some on top of the uh, pancakes once we're done. So I'd say about a quarter of a cup. Okay, just gonna take and mix these up. And of course, walnuts is one of the healthiest nuts you can eat. That's okay, great. now, to spell flour, I've got a cup and a half here, but I'm not gonna put it all, I'm gonna put, put about half in here. So three quarters of a cup so far. Okay, there's that mix. Then we're gonna take the banana, and these are a ripe banana. That way it, it's easier to mush up. You wanna mash it. A good use when you had too many bananas and mm -hmm. they're starting to over ripen. So we'll mash the banana. I'm just, I'm just using a potato masher here to do this. about like that. You don't want to chop it up too mushy because you're going to add the liquid now. We're going to add the apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, vanilla, and our cup of almond milk. Unsweetened almond milk. We're going to mix this up. Always unsweetened. We don't want to have to add too many extra sugars if we don't have to. And I did learn, Georgie, from Dr. Greger's NutritionFacts.org videos that he did on sugar sweeteners, that most of them are pretty much the same in terms of that they pretty much offer us nothing uh, but empty calories. However, maple syrup, he said, is one of the redeeming ones that actually have some decent nutrients in it. Mm. So. Okay, I'm gonna pour my liquid into my, my dry mixture. Mix it up. Now if it's too thick or too thin, you just add some water to it. You want a pancake thick batter. I'll show you the thickness about what you want. Uh, I have to add a little bit. Here, let me just see what that looks like before you're adding the milk so we see know how it, it like doesn't, why we need more. It has to be a little bit runnier. It's just too clumpy. Okay. Get a little bit more on the milk. Put a quarter cup in there. And you can add water to this. You don't need to add more almond milk. Okay, there you go. That's about what you want. Okay. Oh, and the one thing I want to do is I want to add a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Ooh, yeah. Cinnamon's a wonderful spice. So I'd say one, two, three, four, five. Half a teaspoon. Okay. Now that we got this mixed up, I'm going to go over here to the stove in a minute and show you what that looked like one more time. Perfect. Yeah. We'll go fire up the stove and cook them for you. Okay? All right, Georgie. All right. Okay, let's cook them. First thing I do is I get the grill nice and hot where you splatter it in the water and it goes Tsh! I'm using earth balanced margarine and I'm just putting enough for the pancakes. Real quick, you don't need any more than that. I'm using a quarter cup per pancake. And I did forget the blueberries. Let's add the blueberries real quick. <laughs> One cup of blueberries. <laughs> yes, we don't want to forget that super food, that's for sure. Okay. You're gonna let these cook for probably a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. On and what kind of uh, temperature do you have on the stove? Right, right now, now I've, I've got it at about, I'd say medium, Medium high. Okay. Don't want to stay on high because it'll burn out your pan. Okay. 
doesn't take long for them to. Work. I like to turn my grill around because it, it things do have different temperature areas. You see, you can see there's little bubbles coming through. That means it's starting to cook pretty well. Just look under here. Oh yeah, this one's ready to turn. Wow, that's fast, Jersey. I can't believe how fast that is. Next one. And everybody, Next one. Know, I don't know if you noticed this, but when he first looked at the pancake, he held his spatula, spatula kind of, yeah, the opposite. I never would have Not done that way. myself. You want to go this way. It picks it up faster. <laughs> right. I would have never known that. That's just a little cooking tip. Okay, another minute or so, and these will be done. A nice golden And so brown. you don't have to smash them down to make them cook more? I mean, that's what I always used to do with pancakes. No, cake. because you got you, the steam from the pans cooking through the dough is like a steam. So it's kind of like steaming it and grilling it at the same time. Ah. Look at that. Ooh, I can't wait to eat. All right. First batch. Okay, real quick again. We wish we didn't have to use that, but we just haven't found a way to not have the pancake stick. Mm -hmm. So, but at least the batter in itself has no uh, added fats to it. So I'm really happy about that. Except our walnuts. Well, that's a whole food that's fat a good though. Walnut. We're not, we don't have any oil in this. Right. This recipe will make uh, about a dozen of this size pancakes, which are probably what? I would say four inches wide or, or round. So probably a dozen of those. And you could probably put other fruit in there if you wanted, right? Like if you wanted to put some strawberries or? No, because your strawberries are going to be your topping. Oh, I'm gonna, right. I'm going to be topping it with strawberries, bananas, some more walnuts, maple syrup. Mm, it's going well, to be of course, delicious. I don't use much maple syrup, but all right, looking good. Always check your temperature. If your pan's getting too hot, turn it down because you don't want to burn them. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit too much. And one of the reasons I love this recipe too is because it's made from oats, which yep. is a really great whole grain to eat. And so we eat oatmeal a lot, but this is just another vari variation, And, and you notice right? what I do with my spatula is I don't go slow. I kind of push it fast. Otherwise, if you don't go all the way in, you pick up your pancake, it's going to fold in half and you're going to have an ugly pancake. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. You ought to make the food look good. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this part up. I'll finish the rest and we'll come over here and I'll show you what it looks like. Finished. Okay, sounds good, Georgie. Okay. Okay, there's my pancakes, blueberries for toppings, bananas sliced, walnuts, and strawberries. The strawberries, what I do is I slice up about a cup and a half of strawberries, and I put a teaspoon of aguave syrup in a Tupperware, and about a, two or three teaspoons of water, mix it up to make sure it gets kind of sweetness, let it in the fridge for about an hour, and you can get a strawberry syrup out of it, if you can see it right there. Wow, and I can tell everybody it is and good. I, and I remember I used to put sugar in it to do that. But the guave syrup works the same, it's better for you. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and plate these, show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done. And Georgie bananas. always makes them look so beautiful when he brings them to me for breakfast. If you notice, I leave my bananas in the skin because it's easier to deal with them when you're placing them on something. <laughs> little trick. Let's okay, see. a couple blueberries. Even though you got blueberries in, it looks pretty. Yeah, and you can't have too many blueberries. There's strawberries. No one should worry about gaining weight from eating whole fruit. Now, of course, we don't recommend that you're always putting sugar in your fruit. There was just a tiny bit in this. 
but the sugar that's inherent in fruit is not going to make you gain weight. Least that's what Dr. Michael Greger and the research he shares tells Top us. Top of a table teaspoon of walnuts. How's that? That is yummy, yummy, yummy. I okay. can't wait for that to be in my tummy. Real maple syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little taste here. And we do get that at Trader Joe's mm -hmm. for a good price. Okay. Chew, Georgie, chew well. Because we all learned that when you chew, then you can have that be much better absorbed in your digestive system. Mm. Another hit. I hope you guys enjoy these pancakes. So, happy birthday, love. Thank you, honey. I can't okay. wait to go eat. <laughs> okay, everyone. I made those pancakes, especially for her this morning. I hope you guys enjoy them. Baby, I love you. Happy birthday. They, I just got to tell you, they were awesome. I just love them. And if any of you try it, we'd love to hear if you enjoy it as much as we do. So make us a, give us a little comment on the Facebook site or the YouTube site, wherever you're watching this, okay? Okay. Again, baby, happy birthday. I love you. Thank you, honey. And okay. thank you for making me all this great food. Okay. I am one lucky woman. So until next time, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. Couple. Go plant-based. Recipe coming up next and will be posted separately on each of the sites. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.